Hello Weight Loss Stories, my name is Justin Weber and in my first video for Weight Loss Stories TV I wanted to tell you a little bit about who I am and the weight loss journey that I've been on for the past couple of years. So in 2014 my son Jonah was born and at the time I, was, I weighed close to 400 pounds. I wore a five extra large shirt which I'll show you in a minute and it was really difficult for me to do some of the like basic activities like getting up off the floor, taking on, putting on my shoes. Um, so I knew when my son was born that I needed to make a change because I couldn't be the active dad that I wanted to be for him. I envisioned myself as a father riding a bike, going for walks, going swimming, uh, hiking through the woods, going skiing, any of those things that I grew up doing with my father. So I knew I couldn't do those things. It really bummed me out and I knew that I needed to make a change. So I tried dieting at first. Um, every diet that I tried failed immediately because it felt like I had to give up too many things. I love food, I love cooking, I have a passion for it. A lot of my videos are gonna be about uh, cooking, like food, things like that. Uh, bread just came out of the oven, I got another one in there right now. So those are the things I didn't wanna give up and a lot of the diets that I tried that was like the first thing that I couldn't have. I couldn't have the foods that I really enjoyed eating. So struggled with that, uh, tried, failed, a lot of them. One of the things that worked for me was I started tracking my food. So I kept a daily log, I used the free app Lose It. Uh, for me, it helped because I needed to be able to see what I was eating in a day. Uh, at first, when I started initially tracking, I quickly realized that I was consuming close to like six, 7,000 calories a day in order to maintain my almost 400 pound body. Um, just tracking, I was able to see different patterns. I saw that usually in my morning, I would eat really, really heavy. So I'd have my breakfast and then I would stop at the coffee shop and have you know a, a fancy latte, a sugary drink, and then I'd get a muffin or a donut or both sometimes. Uh, I would get <clears throat> all of that and I would consume close to like 1500 calories just for breakfast on a daily average. So there was snacking, anytime I had to go to the gas station I would get a, a, a soda, a candy bar, a bag of chips, things like that. So for me having that visual and purposefully entering in the food that I was eating really helped me to uh, maintain a gradual weight loss and I've maintained 175 pound weight loss now for over a year. So, I want to show you my shirt, and I'll talk about why I still have this. So, one of the things that I've struggled with quite a bit in my weight loss journey is being able to see myself as I am right now. I have been obese, or I was obese for a majority of my life. Going from college into adulthood, I gained a lot of weight really, really fast. So, in college, when I got to make my own food choices, I typically chose really terrible ones, like soda, chips, candy, all of that, and I would overeat. Um, it was really accessible, it was just right there. So <clears throat> that is how some days I still envision myself, as being that 400 pound guy, the guy who would look in the mirror and wish that his body was different. So thankfully, I've kept some of my old clothes, and I encourage you to do the same, for the same reason, is on those days when I feel like I haven't really made much progress or I feel like I'm slipping back into old habits or I wake up and I still feel like that 400 pound guy, I'll put on one of my old shirts as just a visual for myself to see, yes, I truly have made a dramatic change in my life. So this shirt is about a five extra large and it was a big and tall as well. So this shirt, oddly enough, uh, I had to retire it from my closet for a little while because it got too tight. So yeah, on those days when I struggle and I feel like I haven't made much progress, that's when I'll bust out some of my old clothes, try it on, and then I have that visual in the mirror to see, yep, <laughs> I've made a difference. So. How did I lose the weight? Like I said, I tracked my calories, but I also started choosing better food in general, and it was a gradual transition. So it wasn't something like, you know, when I initially tried doing different diets, I would jump 
head first into it and then immediately get discouraged because I didn't see results fast enough or I felt like I you know, wasn't enjoying my life. Um, so it was something that I just gradually did over time. So I didn't jump into it right away. I took little steps here and there, um, eventually cut out things like soda, realized I don't actually need soda. I don't really even like it. It gives me wicked heartburn. So <clears throat> one of the starting tips that I would have for you is if you are jumping into or starting your weight loss journey, you want to make that resolution this year that you are going to make a change in your health is to do things gradually, to do them slowly, and to try to really build in either a plan or uh, something that's gonna help you to sustain whatever it is you're gonna do. I will be talking in other videos about specifically food. So what are the foods that I eat? What are the foods that I love to make? Um, what are some different tips and tricks for buying food and stocking your fridge and your pantry? Um, but today I just wanted to share a little bit of just about who I am. <laughs> so that way if you see this bearded face again, you know that's, that's who Justin is. One thing that I discovered that I enjoy is I like to bike. So that was something growing up I did quite a bit with my family. Um, I loved going biking, but as I gained weight and as I hit that 300 pound mark, well, most bikes can't hold that amount of weight, and uh, gave up biking for a really long time. So that was one of my goals, was it wasn't to join a gym, it wasn't to like really get into any kind of fitness, I just really wanted to be able to ride a bike again. And as soon as I hit, uh, I think I went down to like a little under 300 pounds, Got myself a bike, started biking a little bit, uh, didn't go out for very long, it would be like 15, 20 minutes, something like that, and then eventually started adding in a little bit more like distance and endurance. So now I love biking, and now I um, regularly <laughs> go on long bike rides. So now I love biking, and it's something that is part of my fitness plan. Um, but it wasn't something that I just jumped into right away and started doing, you know, five hour bike rides immediately. It was something that I gradually built into. So like I said with my starting tip, anything that you do, do it slowly, start building in some of those routines and some of those parts of your life versus I'm gonna hit the gym seven days a week, I'm gonna cut my calories down to a thousand a day, I'm gonna purge my house of all the different foods. Um, because is that really sustainable? Is that something that you're gonna be able to keep doing? And not only that, is that something that you are going to enjoy doing? And that was part of my immediate downfall when I was doing a lot of the dieting at first, was I didn't enjoy any of those things. I didn't like it, and so that's why I immediately quit doing it. So, thank you for watching. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at getting healthy underscore on underscore good food. I post a lot of food pictures and recipes, and I'm also a contributor to the Weight Loss Stories Facebook account, and I have a weekly Wednesday recipe that I've been putting out, or Ashley and Keith have been putting out. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.